Wow. I didn't even know unicorns existed. Oh! It's Teddy showing him. I've been waiting for his call all day. Teddy. Yeah, two games left. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I know, I know. How many do we need to win to get into the playoffs? Both of them. Hello and welcome back to FM Wonder Kids. This is Wick and Wonder Kids, and we are nearly at the end of season three. I know it's been emotional, right? But we're so close to that playoff place, but it's not in our hands. We probably have to win our next two games and hope that others slip off. If you look at the table down here, we're on 77 points with two games to go, and the top of the playoff position is on 82. So there's only three, four, five points between us and the top of the playoffs. So hopefully one of these teams will slip up. If we get two wins, that puts us on 83. It's doable, okay? So here it is. We're going to play the two games. You guys can see how it unfolds. Hopefully, hopefully it's good news. The two games in question are Hull at home, followed by Bristol City away. We're going all out for this. We've got to attack. We've got to go down fighting. So the team then to play Hull is Neko Williams, Monulos, I still can't say his name properly, Baptiste, Rhys Devine, Luke Draher, Alex Mighton, Galbraith, Patterson, David and Ricky J. Jones. That's not correct actually, is it? Because Hannibal should be in there. Kick off at Adams Park. Very, very tense times. We've got the live league table here. Short tire with a... Oh dear, short eye with a free kick. Oh god. <laughs> that was so, so bad from Wickham. Set pieces again are down four. They had about 12 shots there. One free shot, another free shot. A great double save from the keeper. And the third one goes in. Come on. Demanding more from the team. Hopefully that'll do something. 24 minutes gone now. And the stats aren't saying much. I mean, three shots each. XG of under one for each. I mean, possession 50-50. 33 minutes gone now. No other highlight. This is getting worrying. 40 minutes gone. And the live league table is showing us that we're still in eighth place. Of course, we are Middlesbrough and Crystal Palace both winning. Teddy, you need to do something at halftime, mate. I'm going to move the team to very attacking. Hannibal with a free kick. It's cleared. Divine up to Hannibal. Puts another ball in. David straight at the keeper. Keeper clears it. We win the header, but then we lose the second ball. Winks with a shot. Great save from the keeper. 52 minutes gone. Hannibal with a similar... Oh, similar free kick. And this time David hits the post. 60 minutes gone now. Substitution is going to have to be made. Hallett comes on for Mighton. Other way around, sorry. No, hold on. David's on a 6.2. Oh my gosh, why is David having such a bad game? Maybe I'll undo that last sub and bring Mighton for David and then David off for Hallett. Confirm change and go for that. 65 minutes gone now. Here's a highlight. Hull lose the ball. Jade Jones holds it up. Loses it. Lewis Potter for Hull. Into the middle. We can win it back but then lose it straight away again. This is frustrating. Can Necker Williams win a challenge there? Can't win the ball. But Wickham keeping Hull in their own half. Gomez wins the ball from a through ball. Wickham on the attack. Hallett, right wing. Skips past a couple of players into Ricky J. Jones, who puts it straight at the keeper. That was a great chance. 67 minutes gone, but it's still nil one. 74 minutes gone now, and it's the next highlight. If we don't score from this, we're going to have to do something tactically. Galbraith to Jones. Oh, and he's missed it. 
Jones has missed it. Let's get tactical, folks. Let's get tactical. Dylan Hallett are going up front. Two fullbacks are going wing backs. And Galbraith is going attacking. In possession, we're not playing out of defence anymore. And we're shooting on sight and hitting early crosses. Extremely wide. Game changes. Let's go 77 minutes. Let's see what those tactical things can do. We're on very attacking as well. And there's a corner. We lose the header. Hallett though. Monulos back into Jones who misses the target again. Oh, where's the Ricky from the earlier in the season? 82 minutes gone now. Williams with a throw in. Hannibal. Back to Williams with a cross. Hallett. Mighton puts it over the bar. Oh my gosh, 85 minutes gone now. We're just missing chance after chance, and there's a chance for Hull. But they put theirs over the bar as well. 86 minutes gone now. We're not going to do it, lads. We're not going to do it. 92 minutes. 93 minutes gone. Could be another season of heartbreak for Wickham. We lost it. We lost the game. Oh dear. That's painful. That is painful. Wickham unlucky in defeat. Oh, we had 17 shots and they had six. We had 56% possession. Just poor finishing. It's still mathematically possible to get into the playoffs. We're on 77 points here. Derby are on 18. Derby would have to lose. And Aston Villa would have to fail to win. And we would also need to win and have a better goal difference than Derby, which I can check now. Oh, that goal difference is far superior. We need to win by six goals at least. We need to win 6-0 to get in the playoffs and hope that everyone else loses, basically. So, um, I mean, we'll go on to Bristol City away and we'll do whatever we can to absolutely smash them 10-0. But it's not looking good, folks. Okay, so here it is. Three points needed. Ten goals needed, probably. And a couple of losses from our competitors needed. I mean, we don't need much, do we? Hallett plays instead of Mighton. And that is the only change of the game. I wish I could change more. But it is what it is. We're going to go ultra attacking in this game from the very off. Eight minutes in, very attacking and encourage. Well, that's depressing. We can see straight away Callum Robinson scores at the far post. A lovely stuff. Here's the replay. The cross comes in. And the marking at the far post just isn't there, but we also shouldn't have let the cross in as well, to be fair. It's a project, guys, and um, it looks like we're going to be in the championship next season to really start the next chapter of the project, so thanks for sticking around. David into Jones, too close to the goalkeeper. Galbraith over the top, goalkeeper carries it. We're winning those headers, though, which is good, better than last season. David into the box, shoots, hits the woodwork again. Must have hit the woodwork about 12 times in the past two games. Aston Villa winning 1 0. That's not good for us. He puts in on 81 points and out of reach. Derby are now on 83. Totally out of reach. I mean, they need to lose, obviously, and we need to we know the score. They need to lose. We need to win by loads. I mean, it's almost become pointless at this point, showing you this game, to be honest with you, because it's totally inconsequential. Here we are with 77 points. Aston Villa on 81. Derby on 83. It's mathematically gone now. Unless uh, Derby start losing by three goals and we win by three goals, I suppose that could work. It's 58 minutes gone now. And we've miss, missed the target. Tut, 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 lads. We've had five shots, no shots on target. Can Ricky J. Jones change that? Yes, he can. Good save by the goalkeeper. They've had three shots and they scored one. Something we need to improve next season for sure. Oh, it's a goal. That is a great goal from a free kick from Hannibal. Q 
keeps the dream alive. Oh, Derby on 81 points. So they're drawing now. 68th minute equaliser from Huddersfield. Can we get a shout out? Encourage the team. 80 minutes gone. We are looking to cut for Derby to concede a couple. And we need to score a couple. And there's only five minutes left. I think hope is over. And that's it. Wickham relegated to another season in the championship. Well, not relegated, but not promoted. Not hit the playoffs. That could spell the end for Teddy Sheringham. I told him he'd get the sack if we didn't get promoted this year. And we have not got promoted. There's the final season standard. 78 points with a goal difference of 19. Three points off the playoffs. And Sheffield United go up with a massive 101 points. Ricky J. Jones is the top scorer. 29 goals. David Necker Williams and Hannibal all with 12 assists. And David had the most man of the matches with 7 on to next season. The promotion hopes live on. Don't you worry about that. We will be there or thereabouts. We need to get in that Premier League. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, please. I need all the encouragement I can get. Hit subscribe if you're new. Follow us on Patreon if you want to get your name in the game. Thanks for watching again. Peace.